Now joining us is the chairman of the Republican Party in New Hampshire. He's Chairman Chris Iger. Chris, it's good to see you again. This news coming in, Chris, that former President Trump, he's going to have a rally in just a few hours tonight in New Hampshire with his former rivals, Senator Tim Scott, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Governor Doug Burgum. He's saying his America's success policies will unify the nation. What do you think? Well, first he has to win the nomination, and the polls right now indicate that he looks pretty good in New Hampshire, uh, but our voters, uh, they can throw a curveball at us, so we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow night. But whoever does win the nomination, I believe, will unite the Republican Party and has to unite the country. we got a lot of big problems that got to get solved, and people are getting sick and tired of politicians who talk and don't do what they say. And so hopefully the Republican nominee will be able to get in there and, and fix things. Mr. Ager, your point's well taken. How much are swing voters in your state a factor? Polls show, you know, 40% of voters in your state, nearly 40% are independent voters. Gallup says the swing voters are the biggest force in American politics right now. How are the swing voters an impact, a factor in your state? So, so the, our undeclared voters are a huge, huge factor. 30% Democrats, 30% Republicans, 40% undeclared. Within those undeclared, you have habitual Republicans and habitual Democrats. And then the really important slice is that swing vote that votes back and forth each way. In the primary, some of those swing voters, and a lot of them, I believe, are going to vote in the Republican primary because that's where the competition is. Joe Biden's abandoned New Hampshire, kind of gave us the finger, and so he's not here. Their turnout's going to be low. We're going to get a lot of interest in our primary. But I think that gives a good reflection of our electorate. You know, it, it's, it's not just people in one ideological uh, area. It's kind of a broad spectrum of primary voters. So whoever comes out of tomorrow, I think we'll have a mandate uh, to go forward. If President Trump wins by double digits, essentially the race is over. If Nikki Haley wins, buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride. Yeah, let's listen to, to your point. Let's listen to Nikki Haley and let's listen to former President Trump. Let's get your reaction to this. Watch. If you look recently, there have been multiple things. I mean, he claimed that Joe Biden was going to get us into World War II. I'm assuming he meant World War III. He said that he ran against President Obama. He never ran against President Obama. But, Margaret, you don't be surprised if you have someone that's 80 in office. Their mental stability is going to continue to decline. That's just human nature. We're going to win this election. We're going to have a great border. We're going to have more energy than you've ever had. And we're never going back. So if you want a losing candidate who puts America last, vote for Nikki Haley. But if you want a president who puts America first and did it successfully for four years, you know, I'm the only. Did you ever read the stat that I'm the first president that didn't go into and start a war? So you've heard that, uh, Mr. Ager. So um, yep. how about turnout? How's turnout looking? Turnout's going to be record. We're going to have over 300,000 or six times uh, the, the percentage that voted in the Iowa caucuses. Huge turnout. And look, if you're worried about somebody's cognizant ability, you got to worry about Joe Biden. President Trump's cognizant, he's just so much better together than Joe Biden. Uh, it's not even close. I wouldn't worry about the age thing. It's more about their capability. Got it. Chris Ager, chairman of the New Hampshire State Republican Party. It's good to have you on, sir. Thank you so much. We appreciate you.